Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create YouTube shots. YouTube shots are nothing but vertical videos that are less than one minute. And let's say you have some old content on your YouTube channel, uh, which you want to use it to attract new audience. This would be the great way to do it. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can do that very quick and easy. So right now on my channel, I have this particular video of a drone unboxing. So what I'll do is I'll click on this three dots and just download it. So once the download is completed, just head towards this online video editor, which is uh, free to use and start a new project. And here you'll get the option which says uh, blank canvas or upload. Just click on blank canvas and here you have the output size. So make sure you choose nine by 16, which is a vertical video resolution that we need for shots. So once that is done, just go to the upload option here, click on that and just choose the one that you just downloaded. And the next thing what you want to do is just resize this video so that it fills most part of the frame here. You don't want to resize it completely because then your content of the video gets uh, trimmed off. So make sure that you just do it somewhere around this part here. That should be fine enough. And on the top, we'll be adding some text. But before that, just go to the timeline option here and then just trim out parts of the video. You just want to keep the main highlights of the video that you want to show in a short span of a time. So as you know, the video has to be less than one minute. So just pick out some highlights from the video. So in my case I would just like pick out some scenes uh, from here so this one is something good so I'll click here I'll use the split option here and delete the first part because I don't want that to be here and I'll again shift this to the initial position yeah that's pretty much it so I'll just delete this part. So these are the things that I want to keep in the video. So once I club everything here, you can see it's still more than one minute. It's going to one minute, seven seconds. So what I'll do is I'll just remove some part from here and from here. And now if you see it is 48 seconds, which is pretty good. So now what you can do is just go back to the studio here. And now you have a 48 second video right here. And as I said, we'll add some text here. So go to the text option here and I will keep some catchy text here. So something like camera, drone unboxing that looks good uh, maybe i'll make it bold and change the color here so i'll just place it on the center here and maybe i'll add some image here for which you can just go to the images or maybe i'll just add an emoji or you can just search for an image so in my case i'll just go for a fire emoji here so i choose that and i'll place it somewhere like this so that is good so if i just go ahead and play it so that's how it's gonna look and let's say you don't want the fire emoji to come for the whole part of the scene. Just go to the timeline option here. Reduce the fire emoji to somewhere around 8 seconds. And again, come back to the studio. And in the end, you want to add a scene saying that you can go ahead and check the full video here. For which I'll just go ahead and add a scene. This is for 3 seconds. And here I'll add a text maybe like saying and we can keep it like this also you can add something like subscribe or something so for which you just go to images here and search for subscribe and you should get a lot of images so maybe i'll use this one and just resize to remove that black part there so this is good so i'll place it somewhere here and this is going to come in the end of the video so if i'll play this part here you can see that thing comes on the end so that the people are notified, uh, you know, basically to check your channel for the full video. You can also add an audio or you can basically record your own voice. And once you're done with that, just go to the settings here and you have a video quality, which is standard at uh, 720p and just click on high, which is uh, 180p. And that's it. Uh, just go to export video here and your video will get rendered and exported in a couple of minutes. So there we go, we have the preview of the video here and you can just go ahead and check out the preview. If you're not satisfied, you can again go back to edit and make those changes. And once you think it's good, just go ahead and download the video and just upload it to YouTube. And that's it, you have your shots ready with your old content. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.